This is a picture of a deer sent to me by the Game Commission showing what a deer looks like with suspected chronic wasting disease. I recently sent in a FOIA request, that's a Freedom of Information request to the Pennsylvania Game Commission about chronic wasting disease. And I thought this was very interesting, this information that they sent back. And one of the things that I found extremely interesting was this. This is the sampling totals of deer that were tested for chronic wasting diseases. This is the year that they were tested. This is the number of free-ranging positive deer that they found. And this is a total of the number of deer tested. So what I did was I did a little calculation on it. And here's what it shows. The, the year, the number of deer tested, the positive test results here, the positive results. And this is the percentage showing how it's increasing or, or decreasing each year. Okay, in the very first few years, there was very little change. In fact, the testing showed very few samples. But as time went on, you can see that the testing and the positive tests are increasing, almost doubling each year. This is very disturbing because chronic wasting disease is a very serious disease of deer. It's my opinion and also the opinion of other people that I've spoken to that have a lot more knowledge of this, this disease that all deer in areas where there's chronic wasting disease should be put down immediately for the benefit of deer in areas where it's not. There are more deer hunters in Pennsylvania than many countries could field in an army. The Pennsylvania Game Commission could enlist the help of deer hunters to help eliminate the deer populations in the areas where this disease has been found. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We support hunting and hunting rights and the right to bear arms. We're located in Fountainville, PA, and we have a hunter access program for our farms that you can call us and find out about at 215-651-8329. Thank you.